Hello YouTube, this is Dakota from Bowtie Media, and today we've got a brand new reaction to a brand new track, Big Bang with DJ Snake and Cranked At. This was the song that was voted on by the Bowtie Gang. Uh, this is the uh, channel members here, so you can join for really, really cheap uh, each month if you want to support the channel and videos I do here and have a say in uh, what songs I react to. But uh, yeah, huge new track uh, because this is this is a real focal point for specifically Cranked At in his career at this point where... Um, Crank Dad has been on the rise and rise and rise of popularity and, and starting to headline more shows and sell out more stuff. And uh, he's now hit a point where he's got a track with DJ Snake, who's arguably one of the biggest um, like commercial EDM artists out there. The ones that are just a little bit more uh, of a niche EDM sound that's not quite a ton of house, uh, but uh, still a, a very prominent name in uh, the, the, the world of EDM and kind of one of the monikers for EDM, uh, whether you like it or not. But um, yeah, DJ Snake cranked at a huge collaboration, and this is a potentially a very, very central uh, song to uh, Cranked At's um, whole career trajectory at this point. So I'm excited to see how this goes, uh, and I am wanting to get into it. So here we go. This is Big Bang with DJ Snake and Cranked At. Okay, Big Bang, DJ Snake and Crank Dat. Um, first things first, that kind of is what I expected uh, audibly. That, that kind of that kind of matched where I expected that to go because uh, Crank Dat obviously known for his very uh, metallic, mechanized, just abrasive and crunchy dubstep uh, hits. And uh, DJ Snake is it goes hard too, but is more like a because DJ Snake is so popular. It's more like a a level-headed hard. It's hard to explain, but stuff that I think um, often can actually quit hit quite well. Um, and a lot of his stuff I actually really enjoy from DJ Snake. I think it's uh, it's great, like just like festival music for the most part. Uh, interesting track though, because uh, this felt like um, it felt like it, it felt like cranked out was 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 toned back a little bit. Uh, it felt like it had all of the the recipes and structures for a cranked at song, uh, but just with the uh, with the not as as hardcore as as cranked at normally is. Um, this still, song still goes hard and goes heavy, but didn't quite have that like deep uh, like inner deepness and crunchiness to the track that uh, you would normally expect from a cranked at track. Um, and so. Yeah, with all that being said, also, I'm very curious to see where the song is going to go uh, in just terms of streams, in terms of uh, throughout the summer, if it's going to be played at a ton of festivals. I think this is going to be a big festival song. I think this is going to be a big hit um, for live shows, uh, which I would have said that early on, but then the slowdown at the end kind of confused me. And so in my head, I was like, oh, great, this is just a regular song that they'll like, not regular, but like it'll, it'll be good for festivals and stuff. But with the slowdown, it makes it a lot more where you put Put it in a mix has to be a lot more intentional because uh, the slowdown is happening, and so it maybe it lends itself better for uh, transitioning from one genre to another, and that's the point of uh, of this style of of outro on the track. But um, yeah, it's uh, it's definitely not what I expected there. But also speaking of not what I expected, the the like hard style second drop, like first part of the second drop, was odd. Uh, I will say it was a little weird and I didn't think it hit well. Um, I didn't really understand where it was going. Uh, neither of the, neither of these artists produced that sound a whole ton. That's not a genre that they, they really uh, find themselves in a whole ton. So that was just a very uh, curious uh, stylistic choice uh, from, for, in my opinion. So, uh, but yeah, other than that, I, I think it's a, like a, a pretty, Middle of the road track, all things considered. Not gonna lie, um, I I don't think it's cranked at its best because I think it's more. Uh, he yeah, like I said, he's he's being reined in a little bit more, and he's uh, he's not going as hard as he normally would. Um, and but I, I think DJ Snake also just kind of did a DJ Snake thing. So uh, I I don't feel wildly about one way or another with this track. I think it's just like a, a general kind of just like good, not too out there, not too unique, uh, but still like uh, serviceable dubstep track that's going to hit well on streaming platforms and uh and do well at the at all the shows but um yeah that's what i uh, that's what i think of the track but i'd love to know what you guys think in the comment section below uh, other than that i'm dakota from bowtie media and i'll see you guys in another video